Did you know that Hitler was also the Führer when it came to taking drugs? My name is Norman Oller. I wrote a book called Blitzed and it's about the massive use or rather abuse of drugs in Nazi Germany. Stage one is from 1936 to 41. He was basically taking vitamins and glucose. When he met Morel in 1936, who be quickly became his personal physician, and Morel said, I can give you vitamin injections and you immediately will feel amazing and you will never get a cold. Hitler thought, this is my man. He woke up and he uh, rolled back the, the sleeve of his pajama and Morel came in and gave him a vitamin injection and a glucose injection and Hitler had had his breakfast. Stage two started in the fall of 1941 when the war against Russia turned bad and he started to take lots of hormones and steroids and barbiturates. He had high fever and diarrhea, so he was quite, he was quite sick. They called it the Russian flu. He got, for the first time, he got um, uh, hormone injections from, from animals, uh, pig liver extracts. And <coughs> And it actually worked. Uh, his, his, uh, he, he, he was back in the briefing the next day. And uh, I mean, today we would say these are, these are doping agents. Stage three started in the summer of 1943, and it is when he um, was turning to very hard drugs. In July of 43, he had a, a decisive meeting with Mussolini because Mussolini wanted to leave uh, with Italy uh, the, the, the evil axis. He wanted to leave and Hitler was very depressed about that. And Morel on that, on that day uh, in July uh, for the first time used a drug called Oikodal, Eucodal, which is an, a half synthetic opiate, an opioid, a pharmacological co cousin of heroin you could say but with a much stronger euphoric uh, momentum to it. And after a good shot of Yukodal, you feel extremely good. And this is exactly what happened to Hitler. And um, there's reports from that meeting with Mussolini where he just um, didn't stop talking and was in such a euphoric mood that he easily convinced Mussolini to stay on board. Hitler takes uh, cocaine on over 50 uh, occasions and not a, not a soft dosage of cocaine. I mean, this is, this is pure stuff that the SS uh, delivered. So at times he got cocaine and Yukodal in, 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 in a period of a few hours, which uh, in, in, in drug terms would be called the speedball. He used the drugs to keep uh, his convictions that he formed when he wasn't taking when he wasn't already on drugs, he just he just left reality at a point when he re when he should have realized that his that his delusional ideas of beating the whole world were was what they were, namely delusional and totally uh, uh, irrational and, and 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 not not in touch with reality at all.